Hello, boys and girls, my name is Halsus here and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 2 of season 6, where we are focusing off farming every farmable crop. Last time we did the store one, Mealwood. Today we will do the uh, Berry Blossom. Um, and that should not be that difficult, uh, but there are a few other things that we, uh, we, uh, want to take care of. Um, we probably want to use the ethanol here, uh, for a bit of power production. And then there is a, a cold slush geyser. Um, we can use that salt water to produce water for our farm, but also for um, oxygen production. So there is a lot going on and I think maybe first we have to sort out um, power and water uh, before we can have the farm proper because I intend to go directly to the uh, to the hydroponic tiles, so we don't have to uh, to um, uh, manually uh, put water to the to the plants, as we only have four duplicates at the moment. Every bit of work that we can uh, do automatically is a benefit. Um, we also should probably figure out what to do with our polluted water. We have a bit uh, over here. Then I guess we will get more. We also have a slight issue with uh, skills, digging skills that have not yet reached. So we can dig everything uh, here on the side. We are looking around to figure out what else we have here in the world. Uh, let me figure out this this first step um, oh, with the uh, with the ethanol and uh, power plant, and then we will see. Here on top, we have a plan to combine the two. Uh, sources of uh, ethanol uh, into one basin but once again we are threatened uh, by the lack of uh, digging skills and then here on this side that's where we will start with the with the power setup not sure if that will be the the permanent location um, the reason for placing it in here is this is in the cold biome so heating up should not be that big of a problem because we do not yet have the, the really good materials that would allow us to, to ignore all this. And currently we only have copper ore and iron ore and that's a bit bad uh, because ideally uh, we want to have refined metal but i think for here we have to do with uh, with heavy watt wire um, then we can have a crusher Well, we will have a crusher here in that case. Um, and on this side, we will eventually then have batteries. Uh, and with the, with the crusher, I hope we can have the good ones, the, the smart batteries. So we can then actually also control the, uh, the power that we need to, to put in here. Um, so 
we will need to connect that and we also need power um, for the for the rest of the of the system so let's have that up here ladder and then oh we need to go one higher is this come on and then have a small transformer here on this side and connect it like this and this will then be the power that we need for the pump and for the the lights there but of course we need to kickstart the whole thing we need to pump in petroleum first so for that we will have to use power from this side or have uh, a manual generator um, there um, near the pump but by the looks of it we will need to to have a bit of weight until we uh we actually can can make the digging um there um also should lay out uh, this this foundation a bit better like this and then the pump can go here and we need pie pitch I am thinking we do that like this and then here we have to to figure out how to get over and around I don't want to have a pipe going this way while it would be more convenient um, but it also means we have to to uh, ensure that this uh, ethanol tank um, does not breach so a lot more work to do and uh, waiting on this this final skill for the digging we finally got to the point where we have the necessary skills to dig these harder materials even though progress is slow but we are making progress we can uh, uh, drain this part down here and continue with the setup uh, there but we also managed to uh, uh, make some progress here uh, in our barracks um, where we are completing uh, the uh, the room that we initially planned out and we have let the uh, the power wire and the pipe up to here and there we have to see how to progress with that because up here we have our cool slush that we also uh, want to use and uh, Probably we need to dig out a bit more down here to make the, the space uh, a bit bigger um, so we can contain all the, the, the ethanol uh, in here um, so we can clear out this area up here uh, and we will just have to see how we can make this work with uh, with access and so on but as always i will figure something out 
the pipes and the power are connected so we can kickstart this by having a hamster wheel up here and that should get us the uh, power to pump the um, ethanol in here to get more power to power the rock crusher so we can have um, refined metal for a battery that will then eventually control when the generator is running and up here i have figured out instead of uh, a basin below we will just have a basin here on that level and then um, basically i'm hoping we don't need um, this big of um, of a setup here. So let's try to just bridge over there. Um, do this and that here on this side. I want to have a ladder going down uh, probably also on this side then we need a pump here as well right uh, maybe let's up the priority here um, so we get that and then we need refinement refinement is one over um, the salinator there and all this wants to have power and hopefully we can hook everything up to to here then this is the intake that's the outtake and that goes to here so down here we can then have the uh, tiles and we will need the lights on top there and there there and there and a bit of wiring to there and we need more um, ores have run out of that um, can grab a bit down here and then once again it's just uh, a waiting game uh, until the duplicants can manage to uh, complete all these tasks and of course we also want to have this pipe going all the way through there and yeah then let's duplicate do their work and uh, we can see how we will finish this part of the of the problem off we are getting there we have the setup up here complete 
we also have started our farm so actually we can start planting um, we have the, the front light there so all that we need is a bit of water and we have basically this piece of wire missing however there is one thing that worries me a bit if we look at the temperature of the water here that's minus three degrees so it could break the the pipes pipes after it is converted to water so i'm hoping um the desalination process warms the water the brine a bit so it's just above freezing uh, otherwise we will have to think about what to do as you can see here uh, we have planted quite a bit uh, but um, they're still lacking the uh, water to actually grow and that should then really solve our problem with our food we are always on the brink of starvation uh, if we get a harvest uh, it's a bit better but basically the complete harvest happens at the same time so we always have to to uh, uh, hope that uh, we can survive until the next one uh, maybe sometimes slaughtering some animals for additional food supply or hoping that we get some food out of the printing pot but here um, maybe we can get this done in a bit more expedient manner and there you can see we are back down to zero uh, calories again and the next harvest is a bit away so let's see oh yeah the temperature of the water here that's too cold and i think as long as it's flowing it's it's not really uh, uh, that big of a, of a problem um, do we have any means of heating up the water we have things to cool down the water we have this one which uses quite a bit of of power so maybe we will have to figure out something um yeah there we have the the, the damage um maybe oh, we have to uh, uh figure out something uh that lets us heat up um the uh the brine here so that uh, we then can actually have brine fed into the desalinator that is above zero degree above freezing point of the water but down here we can see our first bristle blossom are growing and yeah so maybe let's disable the building for now and figure out how we can do that otherwise we do have a cool steam vent here on this side so that one brings in warm water so i am thinking maybe we could have uh, at the uh, pipe going from here with the warm water through here 
kind of uh, uh, cooling um, and uh, that should help with the with the situation so let's see we probably want to have something like this and there we have the input and that's a starvation depth um let's bring that over this way and then over to here and then we have to figure out the rest there so okay our builder died not so good but with only three duplicates we should be good with the uh, food production we have going and here on this side we have to figure out what to do with the with the water that we have disposed and i'm thinking for now let's just let it flow in here and make it that way and then here we can have a pump pump down here and then here we want to have a door there we need a ladder and we need a bit of power mm. there and that should solve the problem or, or at least i hope it will so uh, let the duplicates figure that one out and then we will see if it actually solves the problem or is only a half solution i think i have found a better solution for our cold brine and that's sending the brine through our base uh, so we basically use the cold brain as a cooling loop and in the process it gets warmer and there we are at uh, positive temperatures uh, which uh, we can then feed into into this system here and we don't need to mess around with with this setup there which by the way still not complete and i think we leave it at that we did not manage to uh, to have uh, oxygen production set up but we have our farm going here uh, we're missing the the light here in the middle but you can see uh, we are growing and i think we also had our first harvest of bristle blossoms all right then that's it for today we will see what we will tackle next time until then goodbye